voting systems to be more accessible to Quick question. Are you okay with voter which, ID? I, are you I okay think, with voter ID? Because you're going back to the talking points. I get it. The talking points have been issued. Are, 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 are you okay so, with voter ID? So voter ID is currently required in the state of Texas. I, I opposed having to How about for mail-in ballots? To vote. How about having to send your ballot in? Should you have to prove who Sorry, you are? Because that's I, what Democrats just, are opposing. <laughs> Pete, I just said I, I oppose voter ID. Currently, it's a law in Texas, but I oppose that law because you I think you don't need oppose voter ID. You, you don't, don't need... think the most sacred obligation of our republic, you should have to prove who you are in order to vote? So there are a lot of Texans, actually hundreds of thousands, who don't have a driver's license, who, whoa, who whoa, don't, whoa, whoa, whoa. don't drive who at can't, all. Do they have and a Social Security number? Because no, according this? to this Republican law, you can put your last four he, digits he's, of your social security number in he, as proof of who slaughter. you are. Do they not? Yeah, yeah he's help me dead. Out. Do he's those done. people not he's have done. social security numbers? And, he, and who are these people the, that can't get ID? The, throw the flag in, okay? This is a mess. <laughs> you guys, okay, well, one thing. I, I, I actually uh, appreciate him hopping on Fox News trying to do that. Mm -hmm. But this is, I just want to say. That is exactly why you never see these Democrat officials hopping on Fox News, hop, hopping on Newsmax, hopping on OAN, because it's really hard to defend these crappy talking points. Oh, my God. Was he just being torn apart? Yeah, I, Eric, I was going um, oh, yeah, go to say the, say the exact same thing. I will give him half credit, partial credit for actually going on there. Um, <laughs> I don't know how, how he got how he got free from from the right. I mean. I can assume that everybody on those two planes and on those buses advised him not to do this, and he did it anyways. Um, and, and unfortunately, unfortunately, we know this stuff, right? Even even people people that are still even tuning into Fox News, which I'm guilty of, I watch them on YouTube, whatever, all, all the time. No no big deal, right? But we already know how how fake, how how awful, deceitful these people are. So we're just preaching to the choir. It would almost be more, well, I would say it would almost be more effective for him to go on to CNN or MSNBC, but they're just going to toss, toss him, toss him the softballs and then play, you know, play the part of this clip where he's like, are you going to admit that Trump lost? That's how the left is covering <laughs> this, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw that. The left is covering this interview by saying that a uh, Texas Democrat uh, forces Fox News pundit to admit that Trump lost, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude. Yeah, whoa. Yeah. Ignore their like, other 20 minutes of the segment. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that clip. that was that was a slaughter. That was uh I, I, I do I do respect him hopping on there, but that that that's right there. That is exactly why you never see these elected officials hopping on these conservative outlets or right leaning outlets. Uh, that's exactly why you don't see it. And and you know, this whole uh the, the, them all singing together, acting like they are the, they are just the most. I we mean, are the so children. Virtuous. Yes. So, we so, are. so powerful. So amazing. I mean, they're fighting Donate against Jim now. Crow. How amazing. It's like <laughs> it's I, Jim I, Crow. I, 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 I was on a, I was on a show uh, the other day and, and we kind of talked about how like it, it almost seems like we're living and I don't know if you guys feel this way, but I do all the time. I swear to God. We're living in two different realities here. Where I'm watching this, like, w w hold on, you guys are like pretending this is Jim Crow and this is just asking for some IDs and stuff like that. That doesn't seem like that big of a deal. And then there's one side that is just, I, I think they genuinely believe their lies uh, so much. I think they believe their own lies so much that they believe it's truth. And, and because that's the only way that they can have so much energy and so much, you know, so passionate about this stuff. Because you look, an average person looks at this, you don't even have to be like crazy right at all or anything like that. Just a totally average person looking at the facts and look at this and say, "What the heck are these Democrats talking about? They're 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 liars. I mean, they're they're straight up liars." And also, I mean, talk about a punch in the in the face to anybody that is still uh, walking around today that actually dealt with Jim Crow. I mean, talk about an absolute punch in the face. It, it's. I want to know what. Um... I want to know who these two hundred thousand Texans are that don't have ID. Are they people that just take? ubers or walk to work are they counting teenagers they're probably counting people who are like under 21 years old who haven't registered to vote yet and even what pete said there is that you can use the last four digits of your social security number so there's no like and and i, I don't know about texas but i know there's plenty of states where you can get a non-driver's license id you can get that mm -hmm. here as well so i don't understand what the whole thing is it's again stupid or lying and I tend to go with this guy lying because to uh, ha there, there's literally no excuse that they're giving that they can he can come up with. He just says voter ID is bad. They're reducing the hours. Um, they're reducing the hours on 
the weekend, they're actually, it, it's something like 17 days of early voting they're allowed to do. And then they go with the, you can't give people water in line when it's actually electioneering that they're talking about, where you can't go and talk to people. So obviously Bribe people. Yeah, you you can't go up to them, so that would also include giving them water. These horrible <laughs> bastards. So it doesn't make any sense. You have it. You have to. I I try to see the other side, but at this point, it seems like they know that they're going to lose some sort of edge here, or else why would you be so much against it? You would only be against it if you thought it was bad for your party and their chance to win. And you'd have to imagine that they don't want to lose, however many probably a couple million votes allegedly suspectedly don't sue me illegal votes that they would get from illegal immigrants. My guess on that being because they're on a border state and there's something like 21 to 30 illegal immigrants in the country. Maybe 10 million of them are old enough to vote. Who knows? So I don't know. It's, it's, I think it's really a situation of like back to what you're saying, Andrew, about kind of the, the lying. I think, it, I think it's to a point of, and I kind of mentioned something like this already, but the continuous lies to where if you lie enough, it starts to become your truth. I think these people are <laughs> in such a bubble to where they don't talk to people on the right. They don't worry about, hey, how are my debate tactics on this? Because if they actually focused on debate, they would have to study the other side's argument and they'd probably defeat themselves just then and there. But I think they lie so much and it's being repeated and repeated to where it becomes their truth. And on the very back end, they have the mainstream media in the United States that literally 90% plus uh, left-leaning and not just left-leaning anymore, but far left-leaning, that's going to cover for this, right? If they, if Republicans tried to do stuff like this, and this is why Republicans, you know, largely, I think they have a little bit uh, uh, kind of that, like, what do you call it? More of a moral moral fiber because they can't really get away with lying this much. If the Republicans pulled something close to this, the mainstream media would run 24-7 debunking the BS. <laughs> well, guess what the mainstream media doesn't do for them? It, it doesn't do for them. It doesn't do that. And it covers them on in every way, shape, or form. In fact, they regurgitate it. So folks at home that aren't political that are just listening to stuff or, or you know, they're just listening to the news, they just want the news, they hear, oh my God, Republicans restricting voting rights, Jim Crow, Jim mm -hmm. Crow's bad, we all know that. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's unbelievable and only Democrats can pull it off. Only the left in this country can pull it off. 